Since people first came to the shores of Chesapeake Bay, they've marveled at its beauty and abundance. Generations have fished these waters and earned their livelihood from the Chesapeake. They're part of the daily life of the bay. So too are the scientists and students of the Virginia Institute of Marine Science, or VIMS. For more than 60 years, VIM scientists have been out on Chesapeake Bay and on the rivers and wetlands that surround it. Their studies extend to the open ocean, from the coastline of Virginia to the far corners of the globe. What they found reveals a long decline in the health of Chesapeake Bay and the world's oceans but they've also gained knowledge that's needed to help restore and manage these marine ecosystems. The biggest issue that probably faces Chesapeake Bay now is pressure from development. Chesapeake Bay faces the very same threats that other water bodies in the U.S. face. For example, sediments, nutrients, toxic chemicals, uh, overfishing, habitat loss. Chesapeake Bay, though, because it is so large and of such importance to all of us, requires an institution like VIMS to step in and provide fundamental science for better understanding and better management. Teams from the Institute have been studying the Chesapeake and its watershed since 1940, when the College of William and Mary and the Commonwealth of Virginia created the Virginia Fisheries Laboratory, which later evolved into VIMS. Today, with its 35-acre main campus at Gloucester Point, Virginia, its Eastern Shore Laboratory in Wachapreek, Virginia, and its Kaufman Aquaculture Center on the Rappahannock River. VIMS is one of the nation's largest marine centers focused on coastal and estuarine science. VIMS scientists work in Chesapeake Bay and around the world to better understand how natural processes and human pressures affect estuaries and coastal zones. The most pressing issue facing the Chesapeake Bay is the same one that's facing the rest of the planet, which is how we can achieve a sustainable human society and a sustainable interaction with the environment in the face of exponentially growing population and resource use. The environmental pressures are real. More than half of humanity and two-thirds of all Americans live within 50 miles of the sea. 90% of the fish we eat comes from the coastal ocean. The information marine scientists provide is thus vital to political decision-making, helping to balance competing demands from fisheries, industry, aquaculture, and recreational users. VIM's unique three-part mission makes it a leader in efforts to restore and manage marine ecosystems worldwide. The three parts of the mission form a seamless whole. If you look at the history of this institution and you look at the way in which we're described in the Code of Virginia, there are some very specific directives to this institution. Research related to the, uh, the resources of Commonwealth in the region, uh, education, and proper extension or advisory services, taking the fruits of our research and putting them into public policy, into management and making this place a better place to live. Scientists and students pursue VIM's research mission around the world, using knowledge gained in the Chesapeake to inform local, national, and international policy, and using lessons learned in other ecosystems to help understand and restore the bay and its watershed. Grass beds once covered vast areas of the bay. Now, VIM's researchers are harvesting eelgrass seeds to try and restore some of the beds which provide cover and food for many bay organisms. And they're looking at the delicate balance that supports the seagrass system using both laboratory experiments at VIMS and field studies in Chesapeake Bay, the Caribbean, and Australia. Discovering how to reestablish grass beds would be good news for the blue crab, one of the bay's most valuable resources and another beneficiary of VIMS research. Oysters are another bay resource that benefits from research at VIMS. VIMS scientists are working to restore oyster reefs and to breed disease-resistant oysters that can filter bay waters as they grow to market size. And so what have we done for you? We make sure that your natural resources are managed in the long term for 
ecological stability, and if you like it, economic stability and gain because the two are very much partnered, you can't separate them. VIMS is an economic force in its own right, successfully competing to bring millions of federal grant dollars into the Commonwealth and providing technology transfer to industries as diverse as marine robotics, commercial fishing, and molecular genetics. VIMS began as the Virginia Fisheries Laboratory and continues to lead the way in understanding and managing the fishes of the Chesapeake Bay and the Eastern Seaboard. Here at the Department of Fishery Science at VIMS, we have several uh, long-term monitoring programs uh, that have been extremely important for looking at the impacts, long-term impacts, on, on the fisheries. We know that certain major fishery populations have declined. We know that certain fishery populations are more susceptible to disease. We know the oyster population completely crashed. There are effects that have occurred in our lifetime that would appear to be related to um, deteriorations of, of water quality, although those kind of relationships, as everybody knows, are very difficult you know, to prove because of the complexity of the environment. VIM's study of that complex environment has helped it grow into one of the leading marine science and educational centers in the United States. More than 100 graduate students pursue master's and PhD degrees in the College of William and Mary's School of Marine Science, VIM's graduate education component. Students engage in all three parts of VIM's mission and soon find themselves collaborating with their advisors on projects that involve people from other programs, institutes, and nations. This international and interdisciplinary approach is one of VIM's strengths. To solve problems such as Chesapeake Bay, you have to come at it from various uh, disciplines. You have to know the physical aspects, the biological, and so on. And so the more you know about the other fields, at least the better you are able to talk to other kind scientists from other disciplines, the better off you are. Graduate students at VIMS have a unique opportunity to participate in applied research that can affect policy. They have the opportunity to use the most technologically advanced equipment and to contribute to cutting edge interdisciplinary research that benefits the Commonwealth and the scientific community. The final mission of VIMS is to transfer sound scientific knowledge to policymakers and citizens a goal that benefits from collaborations with federal partners that share the VIMS campus, including the Chesapeake Bay National Estuarine Research Reserve, the Sea Grant Marine Advisory Program, and NOAA's Chesapeake Bay office in Virginia. VIMS is unique nationally and probably internationally in its connection to management and policy making. VIMS scientists are involved in uh, advisory service to industry, governments from the regional to the federal level and even internationally on a wide range of issues. One of the things that we do not do is regulate. One of the things that we do is that we provide to regulatory bodies an unbiased opinion. And we try to do that in a manner such that they can then incorporate uh, those comments into their actions in the regulatory process. I believe though with fundamental scientific understanding much of it provided by scientists at VIMS, that we have an opportunity to provide from that scientific understanding the framework for more effective public policy. If we have more effective public policy and management of resources, I believe that the future of the Bay is very, very good.